in some of my videos, you've seen my special wrist mount that I made for my phone. Because most of my outfits don't have pockets, this lets me keep my hands free and my phone accessible. It is a little large though. What I was looking for is something smaller I can wear on my wrist that still runs a full version of Android that I can use to control my various cameras and electronics with their native apps. Gearbest sent me this, the Lenfo Lenfor smartwatch. Let's take a look and see if it will do the job. So there is a cloth on top. I think I will peel off the film first and clean it a little bit. And inside the box there is user manual, there is a charging cable, and there is uh, there is a film to protect the screen. Well, let's let's take a look at the menu. So they have the menu in English, and it looks very detailed. And also, they also have a uh, Chinese on the other side. Now let's power it on. Wait, wait a minute. Let, let me take a look at the uh, menu again. Looks like there is a QR code in here for you to scan and download their app. So I'm going to do that first. Oh my God, the recorder crashed. Okay, I've downloaded the app. Let's take a look at the watch. So this is the watch. I haven't turned it on yet. So let's see what's on the back. So there, it looks like there is a tiny camera here. And this side is for the magnetic charger. So you can just snap it right on then you can charge it and there is a sim card slot over here and these two probably are speakers and on the other side there are two buttons okay now let's turn it on and take a look also there is a front camera also i think it takes a while to put it up So this is the uh, wallpaper. It shows the time, and let's see what's inside. I just you can just swap uh, swipe it from left to right freely. Lot lots of wallpaper. Okay, I don't care. Wow, I don't want that. Okay, I don't want that too. Oh, I prefer this one. Okay, let's just stick to the one uh, they give us. Now, if you want to go into their interface, just uh, swipe it and you can see there, basically, the interface is just like your phone. So there, have, there are contacts, phone, messaging, setting, browser. I would like to install, recheck on it later. <laughs> Calendar. I don't care uh, about the time now. I just want to check out other functions. Cameras. Let's see if okay okay i'm going to take a selfie so i just take a selfie let's see so yeah not bad but looks like there is no back camera only a front camera so i you can yeah i don't want to take more pictures maybe record something okay Hey, hello. Let's play back uh, the uh, the video I just shoot, not the picture. No, the video. Okay. Hey, hello. 
it seems okay and next i just want to try out the browser and see how fast it is but first i got to uh, connect with my wi-fi i think there is wi-fi all right now i'm connected to my wi-fi and i want to go to the browser Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's okay. Like it didn't take a lot of a uh, long time to load it. It just take like two seconds. So it looks it seems fine. And what I want to do next is to of course pair the app with my uh, phone and check out the other functionality. Uh, okay, start find my device. Please connect with my app first. Okay, the app is called Wheel Watch. So I have to connect it on my app first. Let's see, there is a music player over here, but there isn't any music. So this one I think is for remote control. So let me open my music player on my phone. I heard you on my wireless back in 52. Lying awake and gently tuning in on you. If I was young it so I hit pause and it pause. I think the volume is too high. Okay, next. Lower the, lower the volume. Great. Increase the volume. Seems like it's working. Okay, let's click out this function and let's see. Uh, switch. So it has two platform. One is iOS and one is Android. Now I'm using Android. And next, if I hit next, it will say you have not changed. Okay, with iOS. If you are you prefer iOS, then you can switch it to iOS. Okay. Well, there is a map. Let's check it out. Okay, they're using Google Map. Um, I think I'm going to download some Chinese maps on it later. So the two buttons on the side, what does it actually do? If I long press the upper one, so it shows all the apps I've been using. And if I swipe, 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 it just quick out all the programs. Good. So what about the lower one? If I long press it, Okay, you can power off, reboot, and recent tasks. It shows you just like the, uh, the upper uh, button function and you can just delete all the program you're using. And on the top, they are full and small for uh, you to adjust the icon size. Of course, I want full. I want to see clearly.
I can still see myself doing this. Right now I'm at King's Bar, my friend's bar. Yo, 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 yo. They can see you from this side because this is only one seven. Huh? So yeah, I'm feeding the dog and I can see so Lily is holding my camera and um, I'm feeding Lala at the same time. Pretty cool. Thank you. 我可以在我的手机上面也，就是我的手表上面也看到。Good boy, give me pause, Lala, Lala, give me pause. Good boy, who's a good boy? Why is he such a good boy? Good boy, give me pause, Lala, Lala, give me pause. Good boy, who's a good boy? Why is he such a good boy? Yeah, he deserves more tricks. Three, more tricks, 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 more